Ah, hello guys, welcome back. How are you doing today? It's been not too long actually, it's been like a couple of weeks since I've made a video. So do you know what I'm going to do? That's right, we're going to play our daily in Nuclear Throne today. And I don't think we've done a crystal run yet, so let's hop to it and have a go. So, um, oh shit, took a little while to load in there. Uh, very recently, uh, Horohisto managed to get to Loop 9. He's a Nuclear Throne player. He's one of those people that gets very far in the game and then has a huge ego and says that he's the best. You know, maybe he is, but you know, he's got an ego and that's alright. Uh, he got to Loop 9, which he says took him about three and a half hours. Uh, which I think was far too much time <laughs> to spend playing this game, but um, yeah. And I think he managed to do it playing Crystal. So the plan for today is... I've been throwing lately in my dailies, if I'm honest. I've been I've been nuclear throwing and it's not been good. Um, I haven't gotten to Loop 2 in a little while on one of them. I always keep... I just keep making really silly mistakes, like, you know, I'll... Uh, drop my energy sword for an energy hammer just because it looks kind of fun or I'll uh, I don't know, I'll pick up the wrong mutation or something stupid will happen and I'll throw it really early. But you know what? Today, today good things are going to happen. We're going to get strong spirit, bloodlust, trigger fingers, rhino skin, long arms, everything we need and it's going to be good. Uh, boiling veins. It's so good. I mean, I think I must have mentioned it before but I always, I always underestimate it. I'm like, oh, it's kind of boring. It's just like a little bit less damage taken, you know, it's a little bit of protection, it's not that great. When I have all my, like, really, really good runs, I always end up having situations where I'm on 4 HP, uh, having been blown up. It's, it's like a reusable strong spirit. It's really good. And I need to start taking it more. It also lets you, um, in the case that you don't get a long arms, use digging, which is one way to play the game. Although, of course, melee is the, the best way to do it. So, we're continuing on here. We've got a you know, decent set of mutations so far. The bloodlust is absolutely mandatory at this point. Just because I, I never I never trust pickups. It's not ever worth suiciding in to try and get that health pack. You'll probably lose more than the two health it gives you. And I'd rather have bloodlust than strong spirit. So, there you go. That's that's my current that's my current mood today. Um, we're not going to go for any, like, you know, drab rabbit paws and plutonium hungers. We're going to go just raw, raw meta. Just absolute, you know, just just run in there, you know, no protection, nothing, just full protection rule, uh, which is the best type of protection if you like. Just make sure you uh, you check them first, wherever the doctor. But uh, we do need a better weapon than the pistol. Pop gun will do for now. But uh, this daily is going to start getting a lot harder if we don't find ourselves like a, even like a splinter gun, just anything that's half decent. <coughs> uh, thrown butt. Throne butt, throne butt, throne butt. Throne butt? Or bolt marrow? I think... Hmm. <sighs> this is a bit of thought, actually. I'm thinking about all the situations I die in. It's because I get swarmed and there's no stuff nearby. And this, you know, might help. But then again, it might not help that much. Although, if we want to, we can go for the more health mutation. In which case, it probably couldn't hurt to have this. But then again, you know what? We're going to go Bolt Marrow. It's not necessarily part of the meta. The meta is uh, Super Plasma Cannon and... What's that? A grenade launcher. The meta is Super Plasma Cannon Ultra Shovel. That is the best way to get through the game. I think you can also kind of do it with a regular Plasma Cannon. But, I mean, it gets to the point where you're not doing enough damage to the bosses that you have to sit there for like 10 minutes waiting for your Plasma Cannon to recharge. That's not good. I do, I do want a better gun though, please. Pop pop gun is absolute trash tier. Like it's all right, but it's not good. Oh, assault rifle. That will do. For, that will do us for now. Just hopefully we don't get shot on by mutations. Like in recent dailies, they've had stuff like <laughs> you've had to take like lot extra feet versus euphoria. You know those kind of choices. Not superb. And the weekly recently was even worse. Oh shit. Auto shotgun will do us for now. We'll replace our uh, slugger with that. All right. And we can use that to get rid of Big Dog quite easily, I reckon. Two of those. Very good. I'm not too sure what the difference between the regular shotgun and the auto shotgun is. I feel like the auto shotgun must have like a worse spread or one less pellet or something. Mm, I'll take a sledgehammer. Hopefully we can get a log arms to go with that. Oh. Got a bit... No, I've already got a cold, but I've been feeling a little poorly. Um, it's Pluto or stress. That's what I think. I'm thinking Pluto. Not had a terrific last two choice mutations. Like, I do like both Pluto and Bolt Marrow, but they're not ideal. They're not ideal at all. 
try and blow up the car as much as I can. Deal with the crows and stuff. I'm not worrying about big dog because we've got shotgun ammo and the auto shotgun tears through him. I'm just more worried about taking damage from that sniper. Plus we've got um, boiling veins. So we don't have to worry about him blowing up on us. You know what? I think we might ditch the... We might ditch the sledgehammer and take the... There we go. This thing. Heavy grenade launcher. We do have the boiling veins to go with it. This thing is very good. I must have used it before in a in a video, but um, it'll it'll, it'll, it'll do a lot of damage. It'll make two or three shot little hunter, which is exactly what we want, and it will one shot all of these regular enemies for only two explosives each, which is pretty good, pretty good indeed. There we go. Ah, oh, also interesting news. I've got my uh, my driving test tomorrow. My my practical driving test here in the UK. I don't know how it is in other countries. You take a laser rifle? You don't take a laser rifle, but you take a... Oh. oh I think we should go trigger fingers. Um, you take a theory test and a practical test. Uh, so the theory test will be done on a computer in a test centre. Like, you have to actually go somewhere, like an office kind of area, and do that. And the practical is what you can take once you've passed your theory. And it's literally just driving around for like half an hour, 40 minutes, showing the instructor that you know how to drive a car. Which I believe I can do quite well now. But um, I think the pass or fail on my test is going to depend on if, you know, certain silly mistakes happen. Like, um, one way you can fail your test is if you curve it, like you hit the side of the road while doing a reversing manoeuvre. Um, which ideally I don't want to do, but you know, th things do happen. But that is basically an instant fail, I think, I've heard. Uh, another way is if... You make a really stupid mistake, which ends up being, like, horrible. Like, you know, you don't check your mirrors and there, it turns out there was a cyclist there and you could have run him over. Um... I don't have patience. I'm definitely gonna have patience. But yeah, hopefully hopefully nothing shit happens. And I can just pass my test and never buy a car because they're fucking expensive. <laughs> Holy shit, they're like... If you want a half-decent car, it's gonna set you back, like, three, four grand. And then plus that, you will have to pay taxes and you have to pay insurance. And you have to play fuel. And it's just so, so much money. Which, at first, I don't have. I'm a student. I don't I don't have money to spend on, you know, several grand's worth on cars. I keep thinking I've got, um... What's it? Gamma Guts, but I don't have Gamma Guts. It's because I normally have Gamma Guts when I'm playing Crystal. Just because it's really good. What are we going to get here from the patients? Can we get a... Strong Spirit, please? <laughs> Oh, that was a nice little reflect. Let's have a look. Take us down. Please. Okay. So we've got two more t we've got two more chances to get strong spirit. If not, we're gonna definitely have to take the more health more health ultra mutation, whatever it's called, fortress maybe. Mm, please go away, little hunter. Just spam the shit out of that little cop there is what he is. He's a he's a willy fiddler. There we go, off he goes. Off that little, little, uh, you know, little, little twaz. Okay, there he goes. He's, we got rid of him, but we, we dealt with him quite easily there. The last thing I want to do is lose my daily on 7-3 to Little Hunter. That's early mistake, or you get a really bad loadout. That's what will cause that. I think, though, we could potentially survive without Strong Spirit, seeing as we are playing Crystal. Uh, so, you know, we can reflect bullets. And we've got, uh, what do you call it? Boiling veins. So we can deal with some one shots. It's just like right now I'm on three health, so I can die very fast to everything. Cross. I keep thinking these are auto crossbows, and it's making me sad. I would like an auto crossbow, please. Just, just one. Because theoretically we could just go auto crossbow, generic melee weapon, and that would work alright. Haven't got too much ammo though. I'd like a little bit more and a scary face. Just, just give us a, a scary face and a strong spirit. And then this daily starts to look very nice. Because Crystal's got nice ultra mutations. And we can deal with not having a Rhino skin. That is out of ammo on that. Mm, okay, we got a little bit more ammo back. But I would like a lot more, please. There's a bit of ammo though. Oh, I'm so glad we've got an energy weapon. You get so much ammo back per pack. Okay, the Pluto is helping us. Oh! Ooh! Shovel, let's take it. We got shovel, we got trigger fingers, we got long arms. That'll, that'll do us. That'll do us for today. 
Maybe we'll get like a nice lightning hammer to go with it. But um, no, I do want to keep this. We could go 20 health crystal. 20 health crystal is not bad. Rabbit paw, I don't like. <laughs> I don't. I don't think we need it. Heavy heart is more weapon drops. It's not that great. Extra feet is. Pfft. So I guess Rhino skin's the only choice. If we don't get a strong spirit on the last mutation, I hope we at least get like a impact wrists or a scarier face or something that does more damage. Something to help us deal with the uh, the little shits that spawn. Like at least we've got a melee weapon, so we can one shot the uh, dogs if they charge us, which he is doing. He is currently charging us. Fuck off, please. All of you. <laughs> oh, that was dangerous. But look, we can one shot, guys. If we just play it very carefully. I'm trying to keep as much ammo as I can because a shovel versus the throne is not what I want to have. Lightning cannon is not what we want either. But look, we've got the time to do three melees against them. We might as well. Because, um, what, this grenade launcher will, I don't know, four, five, six shot the generators? So theoretically, if we've got full ammo, we should be able to get the generators fine. That's a shield. Uh, go away, please. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not worrying too much about the palace, thank god. Energy screwdriver is not what I want either. Like, it's good, don't get me wrong, but I have lost dailies to having... Uh, what am I thinking? I've lost dailies to having, like, run into the throne <laughs> with the energy screwdriver, which we don't want. I'm taking this for now also just because it does more damage. Trying to get these dogs to jump a little bit so we can get the iframe. Not the iframes, the uh, hit frames. Because, of course, you can hit enemies multiple times if they're moving really fast, like jumping. There we go. Well, they see they stop for a second. That's when you know they're going to jump. You just hold back and go for it. Hold back. Go for it. There you go. If you've got a scarier face, you can one-shot them with a lot of things. Ah! The god tier. The god tier. That's not a Gatling Slagger. Okay. So, the only way we're going to die in this throne fight is if we get hit four times and run out of ammo. Hopefully we should survive. Really hopefully. Our set of mutations, we've got pretty much everything we need. I can't think of what more we want. Uh, perhaps replace the bolt marrow with the bolt marrow of the Pluto with a... I don't know. Actually, they're, they're pretty good. Bolt marrow maybe replace with a laser brain. I don't know. It's a good setup though, but nonetheless. And we can go 20 health crystal, of course. Also, we, I would want to stand here to try and get the throne. He's not doing what I want him to do. There we go. If I can just keep him locked here forever... Ah, oh, Crystal. My favourite. Not my favourite, actually. Horror. I like playing horror. But look, we don't even need a melee weapon, technically. We can just stand here. Ah, oh, it's so good. So good. This isn't why you play Crystal. It's mostly the health, I think. Like, the health is super, super good. But the shield is, of course, very helpful. Look at that. Just no, no worries about bullet hell when you can right click. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, imagine playing Toho and just having a character where you right click and no, no, no bullets hit you, ever. I'll be very, very overpowered. I'd like to be doing more damage per second though, please. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I think my arse just retracted itself inside of itself about four times over there. I thought I was going to get run over by the throne. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, this shouldn't be too tricky. I, I still took the uh, sledgehammer just so I can deal with shielders and stuff a bit easier. Because you can two-shot them with the uh, this weapon. What's it called? Sledgehammer. Shovel's better for loops, though, because you can deal with more enemies at a time. But I just want to get through the boss fights, personally. No scarier face, though, is... Uh, yeah, I probably would have gone for a scarier face over the uh, bolt marrow, personally. If I could have had this run any different. But this should... Oh, okay. <laughs> this this load out should be fine. There we go. Done with him. So we're looking for weapons now. We're looking for what we're we gonna get. Uh, yes, max HP. We're gonna get a super splinter gun and a lightning hammer, and life's gonna be great. Because uh, we don't have a gamma guts or an impact wrist or a scary face, so dealing with the little enemies is gonna take time and effort. And our melee weapon's slow, and it does all right damage, but we're now on loop. We can get better melees. An ultra shovel, I don't know about right yet. I don't know if we have enough rads to deal with it, really. 
doubling these quite nicely though. Being able to one-shot everything is quite a nice bonus, I think. We just have to remember to try... Ooh, flag cannon. Uh... No, I'll keep I'll keep this for now just so we can deal with the uh, shielders and stuff. Look at that. We're going to have to try and go for high damage weapons or really, really high fire rate weapons to try and deal with everything because of the uh, lack of the scary offense, but that's all right. There's plenty of those. No, thank you. You try and blow up my own bomb in my face. That's not how it works. I have to blow this up now, do I? Is it going to go down? There we go. I, I would like. I just want, like, the uh, double flame shotgun we saw earlier. That would be quite nice. Double flame shotgun is nice in the loop with the trigger fingers. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off, Mr. Scorpion. I don't like you. <gasps> okay, hello. You aren't the man I wanted to see today. You are a very bad man. A very bad man, indeed. That's a double minigun, though. That'll, that'll, that'll help a bit. <laughs> I want this double minigun. Is that just a blood launcher? If it was a cannon, I would have considered taking the blood cannon, but not a blood launcher. Oh, crown of blood. Let's do this. Let's do this shit. Oh, and actually, I'm starting to question if we can do this shit. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's the man of the day. Fuck off, please. There's meant to be two of you. Where's... <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> just ran over fucking uh, Big Bandit there with a better minigun than what he's got. Remember, don't go after Rads. We don't need them. We don't have an ultra weapon or anything. Take this for now because it's more ammo efficient. That's where the tank is. Got the tank. Please don't ever add a tank to this game. <laughs> it's a van. Although it's got the health of the tank, I reckon. Oh, that's a health pack. We don't need it, though. I need it. I want it. I want the health pack. I'm greedy. Remember, you can also knock back grenades with the uh, melee weapon. And hide back into the safe spot. Where do we go? We go to the safe spot. There we go. For you. <laughs> Crystal shield. So nice. Pew, pew. Very good. And trigger fingers, of course. Nothing quite like shooting a bunch of enemies through walls. Is that a super crossbow I see? That is a super crossbow. There we go. Just just use this for everything now. Just everything is a super crossbow. Oh, we just killed a mimic apparently. Um, I'm definitely 100% going to keep the uh, uh, melee weapon now because we're going down to the sewers and I like having ammo. Can we have health please? Nope, nothing. That's what Rabbit 4 is good for. Its use is getting health out of the, out of the tanks, so... It's not useless, but it's like a slightly better version of Open Mind, I think. I think people overrate it far too much. Uh, no need to use a Super Crossbow Bolt here. We haven't got full ammo, so I want to use it when necessary, like on this fucker. <laughs> That's right. Bolt Marrow. Yeah. I think Bolt... I personally think Bolt Marrow is good with this... Ah, oh, Super Splinter Gun, though. This is better for now, because it uses one ammo a shot, and it's kind of like a budget version of the... Uh, Super crossbow. So it's just going to be our ammo efficient bolt marrow for them. That's what we're going to take. I don't know if we're going to go back to the super crossbow if we're going to stick with this. But for now, I'm definitely going to take this. Also, never die to those guys ever again if you're playing crystal. You can right click. And they can't do anything about it. There we go. Very good. I'm glad we picked up this gold splint gun, actually. I think this is, personally, I think this is the best uh, gold weapon in the game. That's my opinion on it. This is a really good place for the uh, boss to spawn as well, because it can't do anything. And look, we can just immediately get rid of its poison clouds and one-shot the uh, ball guys. For now. Where did you come from? <laughs> Feisty. Feisty little man he is. We're just going to literally just sit here and uh, farm melee hits on it until it dies. Shoot a couple of these at it. Yeah, super crossbow would have been better to deal with the boss, but to be frank, having a melee weapon and having it in a corner, much better for my sanity, I think. Because it means that the worst part about fighting this boss is running out of ammo or not having a melee weapon. Because the screen gets filled with those poison clouds, which are dicks. That's what they are. They are dicks. Hello, oh, right click. No more poison clouds. Let's just fire a few of these down there. There you go. Hello. Are you going to die eventually? How much health does he have? Or she have, I guess. Quite a lot. 
Oh, shit. I'm a, bit annoyed. I'm a bit annoyed that you can't do extra melee damage to her. They must have patched it. Or maybe she just has more health than I imagined. Would have been nice to just like one-shot the boss there. That's a regular splint again. It's a downgrade. Uh, Gatling Bazooka we can use to go to the pizza sewers right here. Which I will do, actually. What's that heavy? That's a heavy slugger. So, blow this up. And let's go get our super crossbow back. Yep, opening the sewers kills everything in the level. You can only open the sewers on the loop, I believe, after you've killed the boss, which we have done. So we use that to get rid of those. I assume it counts as kills on the scoreboard, which uh, I'd be pretty pissed if it didn't, to be honest, but that's all right. Let's go down. Hyper Slugger. Heavy Slugger. You bought up my hopes. Not that I really need a Hyper Slugger, but it's just nice to have, I guess. Down with you. Down with the establishment. Goodbye. <laughs> there we go. The crossbow is going to help us a shitload on this level. Lots of open areas, lots of snipers, and it shoots five, so you know, you just kind of shoot ish near the sniper. Nearish, you might want to say. And it will probably get rid of them. And we got full full ammo melee weapon. Which is very good. Slowly deal with everything. Take your time. This is how this is how you get far in the game. It's just camping corners and shooting through walls with melee weapons. It's kind of how it is. Unfortunately. But you know. We want to be the very best, the best there ever was, do do do, to catch them is our real test and all that. Um so you know, we're gonna have to play by the rules. And the rules say Bullshit your way through the game. Up here. There you go. See? Super crossbow trigger fingers took out those guys quite easily. Get rid of this, please. Yep. There we go. I'm not sure how much damage explosions actually do. I always just assume they one-shot you, but... We've got 20 health now, so I think they might only do, like, 11 damage or something. So, theoretically, if we were caught in a car explosion, we'd only take, like, half damage. Oh, on top of that, we've got boiling veins, so that's good. Down you all go. There we go. Hmm. I don't like this spawn, personally. I'm not the biggest fan of it. But I'm liking it more now. I found myself a little hole to curl up in. That's an auto crossbow! I like those. I don't like those uh, bandit guys though. They do 5 damage, I believe. 5 or 6. So I'm not too worried about him. I don't like anywhere I am right now. Any of it. Any of it at all. But you know, also crossbow bolt marrow. It'll deal with everything. Very good. You know, three fourth best weapon in the game, definitely. I don't actually know where I'd put it, if I'm honest. It works in some it works in a lot of runs, but it also doesn't work in a lot of others. Like the Ultra Shovel has got to be it's between the Ultra Shovel and Plasma Cannon, I think. I think the Ultra Shovel's better, personally, because it just sustains itself for so long on ammo. And you can replace the Super Plasma Cannon in a good run with, like, an Auto Crossbow or a regular cannon. You can't really replace the uh, Ultra Shovel. Like, the most you could do to replace it is play YV, go Ultra A route, and take a uh, Lightning Hammer, but that's still not as good, I think, later in the game at least, when you've got, like, basically infinite ammo for it. Just keep firing. Always firing. Big Dog isn't the uh, worry here, because we have right click and a melee weapon. Right click and a melee weapon, that's all you need in life. They think, oh you need, you know, exam results and a degree. No, 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 you need a melee weapon and a right click, that's all you need. Very good. See look, we like one shot him because he actually takes damage from melees. <laughs> I hope this is something good, it's a wave gun. That is good. Actually, but I'm not going to take it. I don't want to do Cursed Crystal, you know, Crown of Blood, Loot 1, Caves, thank you. Uh, what's down here? Just one of you little kids. Ah, this, these are the little fuckers I was looking out for. Those are the plants. I don't like them. Make sure they don't hit you through the walls either. They all do 20 damage, roughly, on contact. Give or take. I'm not sure how much, but they all do... It'll kill you. If, if you touch those crystals, it'll kill you. So, come down here. No scary face, so it'll take three shots. Fucking hell. Also, don't ever get caught on the uh, the webs. It's a web of lies. And uh, regardless of uh, what everyone tells you, you can kind of sometimes use right click to um, not block melee hits, but it seems to put them off attacking you. And I would like to kill this guy, 
please. I don't like him. The uh, blue lightning people are bullshit, if I'm honest. TB, TB to the honest. But look, come back here. Try to deal with these ones with our trigger fingers hammer. We can deal with the crystal guys later. There we go. There we go. This is the guy I want. I want him to spawn now, which is a good idea. Because then we can deal with the boss and not have to worry about... Ah, oh, it's this little shit. He's using his explosives. No, nope. No, thank you. Uh, no, nope. ah, oh, so much health. So if we had if we had second stomach, we'd have gotten our health back there. But other than that, it wouldn't have done anything for us. It, it wouldn't have done anything for us this game. But seven HP. It looks like we're on none. That's basically full health on a normal run. So that's pretty good. As that little shit. I want a weapon to spam at the boss. That isn't what I want. Golden, golden, <laughs> golden grenade launcher isn't really what I wanted. Oh, bit of health though. I don't like this very much. I guess it's what we've got, though. What's in here? Double minigun! Oh, that will do. That will do very well. Will it kill the boss? Probably not. But it'll do a lot of damage to it. There you go. Basically killed the boss. Lovely. What are we going to get now, though? I really do want a better melee weapon, though. We'd... No, Alter crossbow will run for the rest of the game, basically. But the, uh, the, sh the, the hammer... It's not ideal. It's very slow. Its damage is not superb. It's good at the start of the game. It's the most damage you can probably get on a melee weapon, but this is now... That's a super plasma cannon. That is a SPC. That is. As a stibbly bibbly bibbob doodad. And we are playing Crystal. So we can live without a uh, melee weapon. My current thoughts on life are super plasma everything. And bolt marrow the rest. And that is the code I will always live my life by. Not enough energy. I'll have you know that I had a coffee earlier. I have plenty of energy. Nope, not enough. I hear a tank ban. There is no longer a tank ban. Very good. Very good. Eventually, hopefully, this bolt marrow will become useless because we'll get a uh, ultra shovel. But for now, it is doing us perfectly. Saving so much ammo because we're hitting all our shots and everything is golden. Very good. You're not dead. There we go. 25 ammo. I don't know how much it uses. I think it uses 24, though. Let's test. It uses 24 ammo. One thing I don't know is if the shield blocks explosions. Like, I know it's not meant to, but I feel like sometimes the hitbox on it bugs out and it lets you survive one. Ah, oh, just the damage, the damage, the plutonium hunger is helping us a lot here. We just have to make sure to keep our ammo topped up, I think, is the uh, big problem here. Deal with the tank first. Melee, the ultra melee guys are, the ultra melee, the elite inspectors, I guess they are. A kind of a joke. You know, they're, they're melee. They're meant to deal with a melee build, like ultra shovel, but they really don't. You have, a long, you have long arms, which you will have if you're doing a melee build. You'll be able to deal with them quite easily. There we go. Went through the portal. Full ammo. Full health. I think we're going on to Little Hunter next. So, fight these little shits. What's it take? Four. Four it takes. Okay. Let's hope we can get a good spawn, hopefully. If not, we're going to have to. S ah, this is a very good spawn. We can super plasma cannon Little Hunter then. Where is it? Oh, he's miles away. He's. <laughs> He didn't want to land in this. Oh. <laughs> oh. A little shit is what he is. No one can suffer the wrath of the uh, Super Plasma Cannon, though. It's SPC looking good, is what it is. Oh, I would like a melee weapon to deal with dogs, though. But I can live with the also for now. Also is good. Up you go. The more enemies you kill at a time, the more ammo you'll drop. So if you can go for area of effect, go for area of effect, run in and pick up all the ammo. And you will always have full ammo to spam a entire plasma cannon shot at one gold tank. And then nearly be back at full. Where's the t there you are. Shoot that in there. No oh, there's some shielders, but they didn't shield, thank god. Shielders can reflect your plasma, just regardless of what any patch notes will tell you. Shielders will kill you. 
that's an explosive shot which didn't kill us. So there you go. Sometimes, apparently, if you're lucky. Don't recount on it, but if you're lucky, the... Uh... Oh, shit. If you're lucky, they won't kill you with it. With the little gold rocket they send out. Looks like we might be able to get to loop 2 today. That'll be quite good. Get a decent score on the daily. What's in here? That is a plasma cannon. That's what I saw. I saw another plasma cannon. Oh, you know what I see? Plasma cannons. Yes, of course, many. And they have boiling veins, so I don't have to worry about anything at all. Unless I'm an idiot and run in a straight line at the enemy. I don't no idea where the van is. Yeah, there he is. I thought for a second that the, uh, the van was going to spawn off screen, but no. There's a go. Boss. Ah, also crossbow. I love you so much. You're so good. <laughs> so good to you. Look, no gamma guts. Just absolutely trashed. Absolutely destroyed. You know, this level. Uh, which isn't a joke. Never, never joke about uh, sexual deviancy. But uh, there we go. Shoot out as many of those shots as you can. Don't die to these fucks. Please don't die to these fucks. Don't ever die to these fucks. Don't ever, 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 ever consider dying to these fucks. They can't kill you because you are the god of movement and you fire plasma cannon shots everywhere. What are they going to do against a plasma shot? Jump at you and do 10 damage? No, I don't think so. Hello, shield. Oh, shit. <laughs> that went better than expected. If we didn't have this loadout, we will have died a lot just now, but we didn't, so no. shoot a couple of racer shots in there, deal with the tank. I keep calling it a tank, you know what? That's just my official name for it now. We got nothing out of it there. Still got a strong spirit, still got 13 health, everything's good. Ooh, nearly 2,000 kills. This is a better spawn. You know what would have made this daily so much better though? That scarier face that I really wanted. But, um, unfortunately, Blam. Ah ha ha ha! Hello? 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 Down we go. <laughs> Alright then, we we have the meta. And a bolt marrow that we don't need. Try not to waste our ultra shovel ammo on this so uh, those things. And let's go down. This is this is this is gonna be fun, hopefully. The music has gone quiet, alright? We walk up, walk up the uh, the red carpet. We got our we got our cursed ultra shovel, got our super plasma cannon, and we got full ammo. We're gonna go have a good old time. There we go. Oh shit! What's gonna happen? It, are are you gonna start up and shoot a giant beam down the middle? Oh, of course you are. That's what you always do. So two shot these. Grab the. Health and rads and everything good. Oh shit. Shoot one of those up there. Uh, could you spawn one of these little fucks, please? Thank you. Oh, there's the plasma cannon. Hooray! I need more ammo for it though. That is enough for me. Up you go. Is that enough to kill the boss? I don't think so. I think it'll take like four or five uh, plasma cannon shots. Oh shit, that was a bit of a close one. Oh, that's not enough energy. That is enough energy though. Come on, he should be dead now. There we go. Get full ammo, ideally. If not, we are not fucked. Okay, we've got full rants at least. I, I, this, this throne two is going to be tricky. I wasn't expecting there to be three of those shits. All right. Let's not die to Throne 2, please. I mean, it's been a good run, but I want it to continue, please. <sighs> okay. Just break apart everything. Plasma cannon. Okay, I think if we had a laser brain scary face, he would have died there. So uh, one or two more, I reckon. Oh, we kind of missed it, that one. That was that was a fuck up. That was a fuck up. That was not good. Uh, okay, we need one more ammo. That's not that's not an ammo, you see. That's 
I don't like where I am. <laughs> Hello. Uh, go away, please, throne. Go away. I don't like you. I missed! Oh, no! How is he not dead? Seriously, he's taken like 4,000 million damage. <laughs> oh, he got run over. It, cu it, it cut the corner. It would have failed its driving test. It can't do that. Oh, well, what, what's going to get like number like 20 or something, maybe? Like a number nine. That's quite, that's, that's juicy. We beat Lua and Sway. There you go. Oh, we could have gone so much further. If only we got a scary face. We did get a scary face, but I took the trigger fingers. So, you know, in another world, maybe we could have gone way further, but you know what? I'm all right with number nine. I'm all right with that. I can can just about live with getting... Oh, look, we were so close to number eight. If we could have just gotten even to, like, the sewers, we could have gotten number three. And that would have been, like, you know, Italian finger-wiggling good, if you get me. But, um, you know what? That'll be all for today. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.